Hi, this is Robert Plank from WebinarCrusher.com and I want to show you today how to watermark your screen for live webinars. So we have uh, like a PowerPoint slide right here and we can put a URL at the bottom, but if we're showing things like we want to click over and have other windows and have our browser do this and that, uh, and we want to still have a watermark on the bottom, whether it's for a live streaming of our screen, Google Hangout, uh, presentation in person, just any kind of situation where we can't necessarily add a watermark in the video and post production, I want to show you how to do how to put a live watermark on the bottom of your screen, uh, no matter you know what you're showing uh, on it right now. So what we're going to do right now today is we're going to do a Google search of a tool called Screen Watermark. It'll show up on SourceForge. We're going to unzip and just run it to see what happens. Then once we kind of get a handle on that, we will create a graphic. So we're going to create an image with the watermark text we want to have, save it over the image they give us with a white background, and then edit the special file called config.xml and position it where you want it on the screen, and then just run this special program whenever we want to show it, and then click on it and hit the X key on our keyboard to get rid of it. So, I mean, let's get to it. The first thing we want to do is do a Google search for our uh, a thing called screen watermark. So let me just go to my browser real quick. I'll do a search for screen watermark. The very first result is on sourceforge.net. It's called screen watermark. Okay. So then we click on this download screen watermark, click on that and download it to our desktop. So let me show you that. Here's the zip file I downloaded and this does not come with any kind of a program installer. So you just have to put this in a folder somewhere. So I'm going to right click, open with Windows Explorer. And now we can see this is right here. So I'm going to, I'm going to uh, left click on it. And at the top, there should be an extract all. So I will extract all and I will extract these files to my computer C program files. All right, so I'll just dump it right in the program files folder. All right, C program files. And I will continue for all current items. So now we look in our C program files and it has added this screen watermark right in here. Okay, so we can uh, double click on this, run screen watermark to exe and see how it added this TV with an orange kind of symbol. If I want to get rid of it, I can click on it and then hit the X key and then that now has disappeared. So that was the first step to Google search screen watermark and then we unzipped it and just ran it to see what happened. And I like to create uh, some kind of a shortcut on my on my uh, taskbar. So here's what I mean is I can uh, left click and hold this down and go down to my taskbar until it says see this pin to taskbar on the bottom. So we can let go of that. So now anytime I want to run this uh, to add a watermark I can just click on that icon and it appears. Now a couple of problems so far is it doesn't have the text I want and it's not positioned on the screen where I want but we will get to that. But we're making progress. Now we've unzipped it and we have a shortcut on our taskbar. So next we will create the graphic. We want to create a graphic that is uh, 1024 pixels wide and 100 pixels high. Now the screen you're looking at right now of mine is 10, 1024 pixels wide and then 600 pixels high. So what I'm going to do is create a graphic that's the whole width across but only 100 pixels high. So it only takes up a tenth of the screen. Okay, so we're going to use a site for this called pixlr.com. Choose the editor, create a blank graphic that's 1024 by 100 pixels, non transparent. Type in our watermark text, save it as a PNG, and save it right over the picture.png in our screen watermark folder. And then make sure that we have a white background so that uh, it, it ends up all looking just fine. Okay. And before we continue, one thing I noticed, at least with me, was that I had some weird, like, kind of permissions issue. So make sure before doing anything else, the two files we're going to be editing are config.xml and picture.png. So right click picture.png and go to properties and then uh, security 
edit and then see how there's this all application packages make sure to allow and then for uh, I think that should be all you need so all application packages allow all right and then for your config to XML same deal right click properties security edit and just make sure that everything is allowed on these okay so now we're ready to change up our config to XML and to save over our picture dot PNG so let me show you this We'll go in our browser again to pixlr.com. That's pixlr.com. This is a free browser based Photoshop type of program. Scroll down and we have our Pixlr editor. We don't want to use the other options, just Pixlr editor. Click launch web app. We want to create a new image because we don't have anything else. And we want to make it width 1024 and height 100. Don't make it transparent, just make it 1024 width, 100 height. Click OK. And it gives us this thing with a white background and we want to put some text on here. So you'll see there's a letter A on the left toolbar. Click on that, then click on where you want to position this and we'll type in, I'm assuming you're looking to put a URL as your watermark on the bottom. Then we'll position this where we want to position it make this bold and just play around with as big of a size as we can get away with. It looks in my case to be about 60 we'll say and then position it as close as you can as best you can to uh, to be centered. So that's close enough for me. Okay so then we'll click on OK and now all we have to do is just save this graphic as a PNG right over the existing image in our screen watermark folder. File, save, make sure it's a PNG, click OK, and then we'll browse to the screen watermark folder where we uh, screen watermark, okay? I'm not sure why there's two of them, but there's screen watermark, and then we want to save it over this picture dot PNG. Click on save. Yes, I want to replace it. And it seems to have stalled. Let me go and check this again. So picture dot PNG, uh, properties, security, edits, make sure all users can edit. Let me do the same with my config dot XML, security, make sure everything is allowed on these. Okay. So if it freezes on you it means it's not allowing you to save so once again file save PNG and we'll save it right over this uh, picture.png okay all right cool so now we know it's saved because it that the thing disappeared and if we go and look in that folder again we'll see that now see this picture.png is now this webinar crusher Dot com. Well, what does that look like? I'm glad you asked. Well, click on watermark our screen watermark and see how it has the graphic we want, but it's kind of in the middle and off to the side. So we're most of the way there right now, right? We have our watermark. We have our graphic already there, right? We've created our graphic by going to Pixlr, making it 1024 by 100, uh, but see how it's in the position that we do not want it at. So click on it again hit X to get rid of it. You're going to be opening a file called config.xml and these are going to be the only two things in here. It's, there's going to be this X position which means how far from the left is it and this Y position which is how far from the top is it. Okay so if you're just using one monitor just make X 0 and then make Y the height of the screen minus 100 pixels so the height of the screen you're looking at right now is 600 and I'll make it uh, 500 right and so let me show you how we're doing that so config to XML just right click open with notepad okay don't open it with Internet Explorer or any of that stuff just right click open with notepad and it gives us this 200 by 200 so I'll make the X 0 this will put it all the way on the left side and then I'll make this Y 500 which will put it almost near the bottom okay so I will X out of that make sure to save my changes when I load screen watermark again now check it out now we have this webinar crusher.com and I mean if I wanted to make it even further near the bottom I can just click on this hit X right click and change config.xml to be let's try like 550 that might be too much 
Actually, let me try like 520. Okay, 520, save it, go again. Now we're talking, perfect timing. Now it's right there near the bottom. So at any point where we wanted to have something like this on the bottom, we just uh, would run our, hit our screen watermark button. And once again, to get rid of it, click right on the text, hit the X key, and then you're done. And so once again, to, uh, to figure out the size of your screen, just right click your desktop, go to screen resolution, and then you can see right here the size of my screen is 1024 by 600. So whatever size you're working with, um, just you know follow what I showed you. But then make the graphic you're making the same width. Make it 100 high. And then when you're positioning it, just take this second number, subtract 100. So that way it'll put it almost there on the bottom. And if you're not sure about any of those numbers, just try some random stuff and, uh, and see where it falls and ends up. And just do some trial and error guess and check. But once again, to run that screen watermark program, you just go to the folder, double click the exe uh, uh, file or the icon you made on your taskbar, and that will make it appear. And then to close it, just hit the X key. So what we can do is go screen watermark, double click. Cool, now we have that uh, watermark on the bottom of all of our screens, no matter what we're putting in front of it. If you're putting like a browser window or something in front of it, uh, that you know that still appears the way that we want it to uh, to appear. So to make a screen watermark appear on your screen, we're going to do a Google search for screen watermark and find the download on SourceForge, unzip and run it, and right out of the gate, you can put a watermark wherever you want on your screen. We're going to create a 600 by 100 graphic. I apologize, 1024 by 100 graphic using pixlr.com and we're going to save right over the uh, this picture.png, just save right over that, okay? And give it a white background, that way it leaves things behind it. Then we edit the config.xml file, okay? And we said, uh, we just right clicked, open with notepad, and then we position the X and the Y where we want to put it, and then just run your screen watermark.exe to get the watermark to show, and then to get it to stop showing, just click on it exactly, hit the X button, and that is how you can uh, create your watermarks and such for live webinars or for any kind of a demonstration on your screen that you want. So let me just show you this to you one more time. I hit the button and cool. Now we have our URL right there on the bottom. So screen watermark tool, Pixlr to save over the graphic and then edit config.xml to reposition it. I'm Robert Plank and that was how to watermark your screen for live webinars. I hope you enjoy it and have a great day.